think you know it? Well then let's see. Here's how to take your CCs from good to great. Focus, focus. Knowledge drop time, yo. This focus of the flow mode crew, bboydojo.com and Cypher Studio. In breaking is never what you do, but how it's done. An ill breaker can take the most simple move and make it amazing with the way that he rocks it. With his execution, originality, with its expression and soul, the way that he does it, how it's done. And just to prove a point, today we're going to take a simple move that if you start breaking, most likely you learn the first class and we're going to turn it into dynamite, the CCs. And yes, I know there's different names for the move, every country has a different name for it and there's debate on the original name too. But since the world knows it as CCs commonly, we're going to use the term CCs today, based on the crazy commandos. Here's how you take your CCs from good to great. Master your basics first. You must understand and master the basic concept of the move first before you can take it to another level. What does that mean then? You must sit on top of your legs at all times, sit on top of your feet, with your heels up at all times. And you must be able to return to this position after you go on the side and come back. You must remain in good balance once you return, otherwise your form is messed up. <laughs> Not gonna work. Number two, both hands over. Both hands over. Yes, I said it. Now why do I teach you both hands over instead of just one? If you have both hands over in the ground once you go on the side, that automatically engages your upper body and makes it more powerful. That's a must. Your whole body must be involved in order to execute it powerfully. So returning, using your arms to get more speed. If you just go one hand over, super easy to make it sloppy, the form suffers and you're not going to be as fast. You're not going to be able to get your whole body involved. So use both hands in the beginning for sure. And with that being said, number three, get your upper body involved too. Your feet are just the beginning, your hands are just the beginning, your hips are just the beginning. My powerful CCs come from using my upper body all the way from my shoulders and even my head to make it powerful. From here. I think of it as the full package that turns. Not just your heel that goes up, but the full package, your whole body is in the same form and turns on the side and you can enhance it with your shoulders and your head. On the class I use a chair as an example. Your whole body goes on the side and returns to the same place without the form suffering. Get your whole body involved. Ah. <laughs> Number four, the front foot goes on the side. Front foot on the side? Yes, in order to maintain a perfect form, your front foot has to move on the side slightly. This shortens the distance that the rest of your body have to move. So in order to make it powerful, in order to make it fast and explosive, your front foot has to move. So check it out, instead of just placing the foot in the ground, and going up, the foot moves on the side. Boom, come back, switch. And that's it. Number five, add variety. Once you master your basics, you must add variety to your steps. Take everything we spoke about earlier and shift it slightly in order to make it different. Pay attention to how you use your arms in order to maintain that speed in the variations too. And also where you position your feet and your arms in the mix, in the variations. Number six, make it bounce. Shout out to Ken Swift, the creator. Master the bouncing CCs in order to switch your flow and add some contrast and variety. Number seven, break the rules. You don't really know a move before you can do everything wrong and still make it look super nasty. Classic quote from Bruce Lee, you learn the rules, you master the rules, and you break the rules eventually. This is my favorite part, and that's also where the play comes in, when you start messing with your opponents and the audience's mind, by just doing everything wrong, but still being super dope. So that's the way I came up with tons of moves, just thinking about things that you shouldn't do, and still doing them anyway. With both arms on the back, going flat-handed, having your feet straight up, going with your heels in the ground, all that stuff. Kings, kings, I'm one of the few and old train by the pain, slain by the OG, focus 
kings of kings. I'm one of the few that don't change by the pain. Slave by the OG. Focus kings of kings. I'm one of the few that don't change by the pain. Slave by the OG. Focus kings of kings. I'm one of the few that don't change. How we get there? Number eight, do you. Let me see how you rock your CCs on a master level. Post it on Instagram, hashtag bboydojo, at bboydojo, so I can see them too. Let's do this, y'all. Get my free workshop at bboydojo.com. Link it by y'all, get it right now, and I'll see you on the next one. Focus signing out with the knowledge drop. Peace.